Hello, welcome to the Cabo de Nao channel. And today I'm going to show you the three greatest gems cursed by mankind. And perhaps it sounds a bit exaggerated to use this term, but these gems are so obscure that they all ended up in museums under lock and key. Untouchable, but visible to the eye from kings sentenced to the guillotine to rich men who have lost their fortunes, everyone who has touched these gems has met a tragic end. And as much as these stories may sound like horror movie scripts, you should know that everything I'm about to tell you is based on real events. So pay close attention, because sooner or later, one of these gems could end up falling into your hands. We can't say for sure, but your fate may be sealed to one of these gems. Now, for a better understanding. Imagine for a moment that you receive a call from the police. Immediately, you feel a little anxious and scared, thinking, have I done something wrong? But you soon feel relieved when the officer tells you that he contacted you because you are the sole heir to an abandoned house in Florida. Without understanding anything, you ask the officer, how is that possible? When the officer says the name, you remember your neighbor, a humble old woman, widowed and childless. You helped her cross the street from time to time, carried her groceries, and did a few small favors without asking for anything in return. What you didn't expect was that she would leave a will in your name. After the phone call, you get the address and go to the old property. When you get there, you find a mansion. Amazed and thinking it was your lucky day, you enter the house and decide to start renovating. A few months later, living in the new mansion, you find a small wooden box covered in lead and copper, hidden in the basement of the house. When you open the box, you can hardly believe it. Before your eyes is a beautiful blue diamond, as bright as starlight. What you don't realize is that this gem has a dark and macabre past. You are about to touch the curse of centuries. Ironically, this beautiful blue gem is called the Hope Diamond, a 45.52 carat gem of pure curse. And even though its story began in India, where it was first bought in its original 112.19 carat form by French merchant Jean-Baptiste Tavernier, its story ends more than 13,500 Tiwalers Kenner from India. Unfortunately, due to a lack of skilled labor or suitable tools, this diamond was roughly cut. Sometime later, Jean Tavernier sold the stone to King Louis XIV of France in 1668. And in case you didn't know, it was only when King Louis had the court jeweler cut the diamond properly that the stone's true beauty was revealed. But despite his reign being the longest in European history, in 1792, a great revolt took place and King Louis XVI feeling trapped, was forced to flee France to save his life. But his escape was thwarted, and a year after being captured, King Louis was guillotined in 1793. According to the Smithsonian Institution, the diamond was stolen during a raid on the French royal treasury, ended up in the hands of King George IV of England, and was later sold to settle his huge debts after his death in 1830. Because it was sold through private channels, it ended up in the hands of Henry Philip Hope, from whom it received the name Hope Diamond. What Henry didn't know was that this diamond had a dark past. After going bankrupt, his relatives were forced to sell the diamond to help pay off their debts. So the stone was bought by a London dealer, who quickly sold it to Sons of New York City, who retained possession of the diamond until they too were forced to sell it in 1909 to pay off debts. Pierre Cartier, in turn, decided to buy the Hope Diamond, but because he was no fool, he sold it to Evelyn Walsh McLean. And you might think that this is all just a coincidence, but it's not, because this is where the story gets even more macabre. As Evelyn McLean was a very wealthy heiress, she didn't care where the stone came from and had no idea that the curse of the Hope Diamond could befall her but the curse was real. Starting with the death of her son in a car accident, after which her daughter was found dead of a drug overdose, and her husband had a tragic end, dying in a sanatorium sometime later. 
And as if that wasn't enough, her family was forced to sell the Washington Post in a bankruptcy auction. After so much suffering, Evelyn McLean died of pneumonia in 1947. Sometime later, a man named Winston acquired the iconic Hope Diamond, who, knowing about the gem's dark past, decided to donate the stone, worth almost a quarter of a billion dollars, to the Smithsonian Institution's National Museum, where it remains on display to this day. But be careful, don't get too close, because it's not often that someone gives up a quarter of a billion just to get rid of a curse. So don't be fooled. As beautiful and attractive as diamonds may seem, there is another cursed gem worse than this one. The 105.6 carat Koh Noor diamond, extracted from the Kohler mine in India, is believed to carry a peculiar curse. But don't worry, I'll explain it better. Its first mention appears in the memoirs of Babur, the first Mughal emperor. He reports that the diamond was stolen in 1306 and that in its original form, it weighed approximately 739 carats before being cut. In my opinion, the name of this stone should be Sea of Blood, because the amount of blood spilled over this diamond cannot be measured. Because of the constant quest for power, this diamond constantly changed hands between Mongol, Persian, and Afghan rulers who fought bloody battles to possess it. For this reason, according to the legend, he who possesses this diamond will be the master of the world, but he will also know all its misfortunes because only God or woman can use it with impunity. Historical records indicate that the diamond was acquired by the British in 1849. And regardless of whether the legend is real or not, you should know that since then, this diamond has only been worn by women, including Queen Alexandra of Denmark, Queen Mary, and the late Queen Elizabeth, wife of King George VI. It is currently kept in the Tower of London Jewel House, but this isn't the only cursed gem in British possession the Delhi Purple Sapphire is actually an imposter, as it's not a sapphire, but a violet amethyst. Rumor has it that this mysterious stone was stolen by a British soldier from the Temple of Indra, the Hindu god of war and weather, during the Indian Mutiny of 1857. For this reason, it is believed that this entity placed a curse on the stone because after it was taken to England by Colonel W. Ferris, his family supposedly began to suffer from many financial and health problems. For this reason, in 1890, the stone was given to Edward Heron Allen, a scientist and writer, who claimed to have started experiencing bad luck immediately after receiving it. He then decided to give the amethyst to friends who were also affected by the curse of the Delhi Purple Sapphire and quickly returned the gift to him. And between you and me, with friends like that, you don't need enemies, do you? After that, according to Heron Allen himself, the Delhi Purple Sapphire is cursed and stained with the blood and dishonor of all who have ever possessed it. Suspicious of its supposed powers, he kept it locked away in seven boxes and surrounded by good luck charms. After his death, Heron Allen's daughter donated the amethyst to the Natural History Museum in London in 1943. Along with the stone, she gave them a letter her father had written warning future owners not to send it directly in order to avoid the curse placed on the stone. Since then, the mysterious Delhi Purple Sapphire is now permanently on display as part of the Natural History Museum's vault collection of precious stones, where it will remain untouched for a long time. Now, before we go any further, take the opportunity to subscribe to our channel as it's free and you'll receive new videos every week. Also, did you know that there are precious stones that have come directly from outer space? Some of these gems were sent from the stars for thousands of years before they fell to Earth. And if you haven't heard of these gems yet, some of them are believed to have been brought from extraterrestrial sources, as these gems can only be found in space. So check it out.